Hello and welcome to a little industrial electric furnace. Just a really simple how-to that everybody should know. Um, so when you get a new base set up and you want to start using an industrial furnace and you want to do it automatically, you might think, what's the simplest way I can do this without going overboard? So I'm going to show you. We're going single box, single conveyor, single uh, furnace. You can daisy chain furnaces if you want more. But here's how you do it. Well, first of all, you want to get power to your conveyor and your furnace, naturally. Um, I've done that through this branch, which is plugged into a wind turbine, and I got four watts branched off. Or a dot, four watts branched off. Uh, one for the conveyor, three for the furnace, because the furnace is used three. So that's them powered. So I can turn this on. Oh, it's got a little something in there, doesn't it? Let me get that out so I can show you the example properly. All right, so that's the box full of ores. Clearly, you can do it with any box. You can do it with a TC, whatever you want to put your ores in. All right, so this is how you do it with a single setup. And this isn't the best long-term one. Actually, it could be just fine if that's how you want to do it. But the number of bases I've walked into and seen they have a decked-out operation, but they don't have this simple auto-smelting setup going, it's kind of baffling. So I'm just uh, making a video of it. Uh, because, you know, once you get to a stage where you have these electric furnaces, you should not be moving ore into furnaces and taking it out manually anymore. That's a thing of the past. All right. So, you see what we got here? We have just two storage adapters, one conveyor, one branch. However you want to do your power is fine. I'm just using a branch there. Uh, most likely you'll have a battery of some sort. I'm not going to try to explain that too much. All right. So, let's just wire this up. So, first of all, let's start with getting the ore in. You just take the output from your box. There it is, the out. And this goes into your conveyor. The input on that. And then you, you want to change these filters to exclude anything you don't want smelted. Uh, I always put wolf meat in here because it I believe it does cook it to charcoal. So you know add that, hit exclude. There you go. So this thing will not transfer wolf meat, basically. Oh, there we go. Uh, because it's just going to char it. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that with this simple of a setup, but just FYI. Uh, that exclude mode is nice there. And also, if you say you don't want to cook sulfur here, because maybe you want to do it somewhere else with char charcoal, you can exclude sulfur or, or whatever you want. So keep that in mind. You can customize it. All right, so, uh, yep, got the input hooked up. Now we need the output. Uh, of this conveyor, naturally, to go into the furnace. So there we go, it's going into the furnace. So just with that, and this thing being on, it should start piling ore in here. There it is. So that's enough to get it auto-smelting, but it doesn't pull out of the box. So what you gotta do is you, well, you can daisy-chain this to more furnaces if you have more. But typically, once this is auto going, you don't need as many as you would think because it's going 24 7 without your assistance. It's going to go through all your ore, whether you have one or six. So, uh, what you do is you take this out. What is happening here? Hold on, I gotta start this over. Okay, take this out and go into the box. So now, this box is essentially in the chain of stuff to push and pull from. Both these are in the chain of stuff to pull, push and pull from. We've essentially made a loop of the end from this going to this, this, and then the out going back into the conveyor. See how that loops? I could probably have them set up better to make it clearer, but it's basically a loop. Usually you want to avoid this with the conveyors because basically it just makes your gear move around continuously for no particular reason. But in this case, with the furnace, it's going to push what's legally allowed into these slots, uh, which is all the ore and stuff, and cans or whatever you got. It's going to push that in there, and then it's going to take out from this output whatever it can into this box, which is, of course, well, it will take out anything, except for wolf meat. It's not going to move. It's going to basically move everything but wolf meat if it can. So this is it. We're actually done. This Anything you throw in this coffin over there in that box will auto smelt and return cooked. So we'll see that filling up. And if you want to prioritize something, uh, you can change the filters or you can just put it in these slots. Like I put a 
if I put ore here, it's going to autofill the rest of that ore. It doesn't swap swap spots. You have to do that manually. So if you've got a stack of high qual, for example, you can throw one piece in there and it'll start filling the stack. So that's how you customize exactly what it's pulling if you have something prioritized. But if you don't care about priority and you just generally want it to go through everything, it will just do that over time. And yeah, I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing something, but I think we got it all. Let me know if you have questions. Set this up in your two by one, whatever. It's a very small operation. You can do it with your TC. If you put your adapter on your TC and start throwing ore in there, that's often how I do it starting out and then move it to a different system once the base grows and matures. All right, hope you've enjoyed and can uh, maybe set this up and get your ore auto smelting and stop running around your base back and forth moving ores and metals all day. And I'll see you in the next one. Matt out.